These digital diaries document our season day by day or week by week when the hunting is good, bad, or average. These are the Whitetail Journals. Dude. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, Thanks man. a lot. Gotta Absolutely. Look. Let's look at this creep. What are you talking about? Oh, oh shit. you're talking about that. Well, what the hell are you going to do without any waiters? Oh, my God, Carl Wayne. What the hell? Thanks, buddy. Just going to see how this is done real quick. What happened with your hunt? All right, well, um, so. Right on there, on their route that they're taking. I mean, this pad is, is nuts. And luckily, I got the wind in my face. So, we'll see. I was set up in the stand for about maybe, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes and I saw a doe come out. And I ranged her at 40 and she was coming in. I didn't range her as she got close. I was trying to set the camera equipment up and Um, I drew back with what I thought was 30, shot, and it went over her back. It, she ran like back to the 40 yard mark and quartered towards me, and or away from me, sorry. And, um, So I drew back on my 40 and shot and it hit like right to the to the right of, of where her shoulder was. I right there, I guess about an hour later, I saw this doe and another one coming from the tall grass to the road that I was that was on. She was at like 20 yards, and I, I drew back and, and hit her, and I hit her, a, a, I think I single lunged her. But the, the arrow, I think, like ricocheted off her inner shoulder blade and came out of her stomach. Um, but uh, it was, I sat till, till dark, got down, went over to her, and she was laying in the tall grass, and um, drag her out and met you at the truck and then we went back and, and got yours. Tell Man, me about yours. Well, first of all, I appreciate you helping me out with that because yeah. going in there with the climber and all the equipment, I mean, it was great, dude. I think you had a really good idea for me this evening. Staring straight into the sun. It seemed like I kind of lost track of time because I was texting you about the action you were in and the next thing I know, I got two does come out in front of me. Well, I was sitting there filming them with my phone and filming them with the Tacticam on the arm and the Tacticam on the crossbow and uh, eventually she come up 30 yards. So I went ahead and I squeezed off on her while I shot over her back. And I was like, what? I know I didn't jerk that bad. Well, luckily, she stayed around and she come moseying around to my uh, right. And she got within 27 yards. I was able to cock that squeaky crossbow <laughs> back and everything. And uh, she got up uh, 27 yards. 
So I squeezed off again and... Man, I always, I, I hate when this happens. It's Thankfully it's not happened to me much, but uh, something's up with the crossbow because I clocked her right in the spine and I mean, she dropped and I'm getting ready to crawl down and about that time, a bunch of deer come from dead behind me. I had the tacticam rolling. I'm sure it's pretty dark. Uh, you see the footage here. As soon as that hit, she gave a great mule kick and she ran up, uphill a little bit, which was interesting. And I heard a crash and it wasn't an easy track job. And on the track! I know, on the track, On dude. the track, we got this. That's so cool. So, yeah. Well, Kyle, thanks a lot, man. I mean, yeah, dude. this is what we noted earlier. We've been hunting together about five years, yep. and we've never doubled. We've, we've never, never doubled. both shot something on the same day, and today's a finally triple, that day. <laughs> yeah, a triple. Could have been a triple, huh, Hunter? Yeah. <laughs> Looking at you, buddy. Well, man, it's like 9 o'clock at night. You've done carried out two deer like the big old hoss man that you are. You think we ought to load up the Ford and get on? Let's get it. Let's get it, baby. Good Thanks job, a lot, buddy. Kyle. Yeah, You're man. the man. What, what is that smell? <laughs> You'd be like winning. That's that's the smell of victory, that's baby. Three deer in, four deer in the freezer. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right. Average American hunter, baby. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Check out our website at www.averageamericanhunter.com where you can learn about the team, view our trophies, find information about our episodes, and even pick up some new merchandise to wear in the woods or in your normal day life. Follow us on Instagram where we post our most recent harvest in our trophy gallery. And check us out on Facebook for episode announcements and other news. Tune in each day for a new episode of the Whitetail Journals. Till then, embrace being average.